So another way to record your lessons is using the whiteboard feature of Zoom call. So once again, I will start a new meeting. And when I'm doing this, I'll first prepare my entire lesson on Zoom and then begin my recording. So I will join via audio. I'll start my screen share. And this time I'm going to use the whiteboard feature in the screen share. Now my whiteboard is ready. I also want my students to see me while I'm explaining. So I'll also switch on my video. And once I'm ready with my uh, lesson and the content, I will simply start recording using this feature. More and record. Now, once you start recording, like you can see this icon over here, what we're going to do is start using the uh, whiteboard. For, there are many features in the whiteboard, uh, such as text, draw, stamp, uh, spotlight. We'll just see a few of them right now. So we'll start using the text over here. And I will write my question. It's a math question for all our math uh, teachers. 2A minus 3B. And now since I want to put a whole square over here, I can either just simply write two and tell my students that it means whole square. But better than that is I will use the draw function of freehand. Uh, probably make it the same color and put a square over here so that my students can understand very clearly. And now in this video lesson, I'm going to teach them how to expand this. Uh, whenever you're using the whiteboard feature, I recommend to use a physical mouse because it's so much easier to start drawing or writing on the whiteboard with the mouse. Uh, I do not have a mouse with me, so please uh, bear with my freehand drawing. So over here, first I'll ask my students to write the formula that is A minus B, the whole square. And they will expand the formula that is A square minus 2AB plus B square. Then I'll ask them to write what is A in this question. So A is 2A. Please excuse uh, my free handwriting. B over here is 3B. Now they have to replace uh, A in this formula. So I'll write that down. That is 2A, the whole square minus 2 into 2a like I said if you have a keyboard uh, if you have a mouse an external mouse it will be much easier for you to do this and uh, an amazing function of uh, this is like now I made an error so I'll use an eraser and I'll erase this once again go to draw plus 3b the whole square. Now I've finished writing uh, this and I want to start explaining. So I'll use the spotlight here. And there are two ways. One is, you know, you can use the arrow or you can use the spotlight feature. So now I'm going to explain to my students how I have replaced the values of A and B in this formula to expand it and finish my explanation. And once again, go to draw for the next step that is 4a square minus 12ab plus 9b square. I'm really, really sorry for that. <laughs> Nine. I used the undo feature to undo what I had written wrong. And once I'm done with this, in my draw, I also have uh, different shapes which I would like you all to explore on your own but one of them I'll use the square over here and say red and I will just say that this is my answer another key feature in this is that you can also save your drawing 
So once I do save, it will save in the same folder in which your recording is going to save. Now my video lesson is ready. I have completed everything. I will go to this feature, stop recording. I'll also stop my video now and stop share. Now it will start saving my recording only after I end my meeting. So I'll end meeting for all. And you have to give it a few moments when you see this loading sign on my cursor, the circle. Now it's going to convert my meeting. Please do not click stop converting. Otherwise, the meeting will not get stored. Be patient for it to completely finish. This will take uh, time depending on your internet speed. But usually it doesn't take more than five minutes. Uh, yeah, of course, if your recording is an hour and a half long, then it takes a lot more time. So depends on how long your recording is. As was a pretty short one, so it's taking not a very long time, basically. So there are different files that have been recorded. So this gets recorded in my Zoom folder in my documents. Uh, it will be recorded anywhere where you uh, have auto stored these uh, downloads. There'll be four over here. There are four files. Usually you will see three files over here. You have the audio only. You have the video only and this zoom underscore zero dot MP4 is your video lesson with both audio as well as your video. Now, this is what you're going to use to share with your students. OK, so uh, I will copy this file uh, and paste it into another folder, rename it, check it if it needs any more editing. Once all of that is done, I will show you how to share these uh, files. So right now, let me just copy it. And uh, on my desktop, I have And I will paste it over here. I will rename this saying using like maybe chapter two equations. Rename it as uh, I like that I would want to share and then I will use this to share. I will show you how to share this uh, in the next section.